Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the English related journals which are listed in Annex 1. So here you can find two important playlists for all your research. One is all about the research. So you can find various videos like where to get the data, how to apply for the fund, how to create your literature very effectively, how to what are the format for the thesis, how to format your synopsis, how to effectively complete your thesis and synopsis, your doctorate, your research, everything. So on the second playlist, you can find some more information about the SEI, Scopus, um, Annexure 1, UGC Care Listed Journals. So I have discussed many journals about many journals you can check here so let us directly go to the journal the first journal is world Englishes. so you can check that whether it is there in the um in the annex one so if i click here you can see that world Englishes is here so this is that journal so here you can find the scope of the journal here so that is what the very important essential thing for any um, researcher that before submitting your article you have to check the scope of the particular journal so here you can see that this is the scope of the journal that is um, uh, applied studies of language theoretical and applied studies of language literature and english teaching with emphasis on cross-cultural identities and perspective so it is listed it is abstracted in these databases so you can also check that so once you are fine with that you can just go and look more about if you want anything about the author guideline so we have to go and check for the author guideline so we have to check for what is the frequency of the journal and whether it is a paid or unpaid so of course we are going to see that this journal does not charge submission fees so there is no submission fees for this okay so you can also check because most of the journal who is who are not um, charging for publication fee submission fee they may ask you publication fee if you wanted to go with the open access open access means like anyone can uh, that is uh, you are making your uh, journal your wedding article open access that is accessible to everyone okay so if you wanted to do that then you have to pay some fees okay so that is what here uh, other than that like, like you have to uh, you have to check for the other uh, plagiarism policies copyright policies copyright issues guidelines what are the basic guidelines and what will happen after the acceptance everything so this complete information you can check it out here the next one is what here they are asking you to submit an article that is as of july 2022 all new englishes are submitted through the research exchange platform so here you can submit your journal okay so if you click here start submission it will ask you to create a um a login like um uh, it will ask you to sign up so you have to sign up and let it load we will wait for uh, two more minutes so before it loads so let us just go and see what is the frequency of the journal so as i told if they haven't mentioned anything about the frequency directly you can go and check for the archives okay so uh, here you can find something related to the journal that is how many issues per uh, year okay so here you can see that issues something like that so they will be telling you like something okay all issues so here you can find the all issues so you can see that uh in 2021 okay so in 2021 how many issues so it's a four issue so four issues per year they are just going with the four issues per year you can also cross check um uh, how many issues every year so four issues per year okay so here you have to uh, register and then you can submit it let us go to the next one which is english for specific purpose so you can also cross check here english for specific purposes yeah it is there okay so english for specific purposes so here also you can see this is an if if you wanted to go with an open access then you have to pay and somehow the uh, university or the organization which you have you are doing your phd okay they might have tie-ups with these um high high-end journals like elsewhere uh ieee so you can directly use the use that particular subscription to submit it okay so acceptance rates 11 percentage in few open this type of journal they'll be telling you that how many 
uh, how many days they will take to, um, uh, to to respond you back okay it is not here no issue so here you can find some more information about what are all the what are all the scope of the journal completely okay other than that if you want to know about that you can just go to the guide for the uh, guide for authors most probably elsewhere will be uh, you can search like only if you wanted to go with open access okay open access fee is payable okay so the next one is what other english teaching practice and critic so here you can search english teaching practice and critic okay this is emerald publication so here you can see that even here you have all these english related scope you can find aim and scope of the journal here uh, the complete information about what are all the thing they are expecting okay manuscript research article essay uh, essay pa theoretical papers reviews and responses so of course they are covering wide range of uh, uh, wide scope okay and then if you want to just know about its indexing and ranking you can click here and if you just go to the home page okay so here you can find some more information about it if they haven't mentioned you about like what is the uh, frequency of the journal of course i have already i am keep on telling you like you can just go and search for the previously submitted paper so you can find the previously submitted paper in the issues or in the articles okay uh, that is archives so let us just go and uh, check for the editor uh, or the guidelines that is what about the fee okay if you just go and search for the fee you don't want to uh, scroll down you have, don't want to read the complete thing is that a submission fee for the journal okay so you can see that the only time we will ever ask you for a money to publish an emerald if you have chosen to publish via the gold open access okay only if you have chosen to submit via gold open access then you have to pay the fee or else pay the price or else it's they will not be asking you okay you will be asked to pay an article processing charges once your paper has been accepted unless it is sponsored open access journal so sponsorship that is what i told so it is a sponsored open access so okay, if you college you can check with your college or organization where you are working with to know more about it and in most of the journals there will be frequently asked questions okay if you have any doubts related to this particular journal you can just send them a mail okay uh, so you can just check frequency of the journal here mm. If it is not mentioned like me or some days you can just try okay monthly there is no archives like you can just ex try to see any other uh, thing is there or else you can just uh, directly go ahead like the role of English okay this is the call for call for uh, papers you can see you can mail them okay you can just go and search for the contact us page that will be definitely there will be a contact us page you can take uh, you can get the mail id and send a mail to them okay so and the last one which we are going to talk about is what english worldwide this is also on another journal you can check here whether the english worldwide is there so english worldwide journal is here okay and the publisher is what john benjamin's publishing co so here you can see that this is the uh, journal okay if you click there if you search that you can find that the and the frequency of the journal is what uh, three issues per year okay and they are also uh, covering the this is the scope of the journal okay that is uh, linguistic language planning multilingualism so you can see this and if you just go and check for for authors okay so you have to just go and uh, uh, check for submissions to journal okay because we have to know about like you are going to submit a um, your article to the journal so you can go and check for the fee um if it is an open access that is if it is you are going to publish it in the open access then you have to publish for the article processing charges and uh, you can see that other than this i couldn't find any information about um, uh, publication that is they are not asking you for any amount if it is um, uh, that is if you are not going with an open access okay so you can see here that is uh, uh, online instructions most of our journal the possibility under this okay that is article processing charges publication uh, by or because of the author we also have a number of it so this is open access right right you can also check 
if you want to know more about it, it's like you can see here uh, that is what is the uh, where they have indexed and everything okay and uh, you can also check here where you have to submit and how it should be okay what is the length of the paper regular reviews if it is a um, regular paper how what is the length everything okay um you can check here for the fee okay or uh, the charge so i have seen somewhere but i couldn't figure it out exactly but here it is one if you wanted to go with an open access journal see anyhow i'm just telling you uh the journal which we are discussing now will not be same that is will not be following the same uh uh thing even after two or three months because they may want to increase their uh, uh, article processing charge or they want to change the um policy of uh, payments and everything so it is better even when you are trying to access that might be some other changes will be there so i request you all to anyhow cross check twice before you try to submit your journal okay so uh, according to me this is also a um, uh, unpaid journal if it is if you wanted to go uh, without the open access okay if you don't want to go with the open access then it is an unpaid journal and if you want to go if you want to uh, opt for open access policy that is if you want to make your journal as an open access then definitely you have to pay okay this sub subscription is for uh, the organization or even if you wanted to uh, uh, apply for the subscription that is they'll be sending you uh, the magazine that is the journal every month okay this is applicable uh, applicable for that particular thing okay other than that uh, there is no charges you want to do to that okay so yes i hope you got some idea about it if you want to know more about any other journal please leave your comment of course i have already told that i have a separate playlist for that if you just go to gomes tech talks you can find this particular journal this particular playlist sei and scopus index journals you will get to know more about it thank you take care bye bye